Today we are juicing apples. Um, we got a barrel or a bucket of apples from some friends and we're gonna juice them and also make applesauce. And it's a really easy process. This is actually a really nice um, canning process because not only do you get apple juice, but you also get applesauce. So you're getting the best of both worlds. So first thing I wanted to do is introduce you to a juicer. Um, and this is a steamer juicer. And so there's four pieces to it. So there's the bottom. This is actually what holds the water. It goes right on your um, heating element. You'll fill it with water and then you periodically throughout the juicing process, check it and make sure you still have water. I've done it where I haven't checked it and the water ran out and then I burned my juice, I guess you could say, in the sense that it tasted burned. So that's not fun. Um, the next piece is your uh, collection, your juice collector, if you will. So the inside of it looks like this. And that juice actually, when it steams and starts to strain, it goes into this piece. So this goes right over your water bucket. And this is what has the hose. This piece holds the hose and then there's a clamp on it and that clamp allows for the juice to collect without it actually um, spilling out. Um, sometimes it still will get through, and so there's actually these little hooks on the side, and they work really well for, actually we usually hook it over here on um, the handle. Okay, so that's the juice collector, and then you have your colander, and it has all the holes in it. This is where you actually put your fruit for the juicy, and this goes right over the top, and then you have your lid and it's clear so you can see as your juice starts to steam and where it's at and and eventually you'll learn to visualize and be like oh yeah this is about right this is as mushy as i want them or whatever so we use our juicer we've um, canned grape juice we've canned apple juice you could do pear juice you could do peach juice any kind of juice really um but we really like this juice it's 100 percent fruit. Um, it doesn't have any additives or preservatives. You can always add sugar if you want, but um, it's really actually a very simple process. So I'm going to walk you through the steps to uh, getting your apples ready so that you can start juicing them. All right, I'm just working on peeling and coring my apples. So if you've never done this before, it's actually a really simple process. Um, if you don't have an apple peeler and corer like this or any other apple peeler and core. You can just simply use a knife and a peeler and peel it and then cut it and pull the cord out. If you have an apple peeler like this, uh, this was my mom's, it's a little old school, but it works great. Um, it's had a long life, so you do have to help it stay in place a little bit better. But what happens is it cores the whole apple for you and then makes it kind of into a spiral. Now, once I do that, for this particular batch of apples, um, they came from a house that they hadn't maintained the bush very well, and so, or not bush, <laughs> the tree, it's apple tree. And so there's lots of spots on them um, and from the butts, not just like bruising, but actual, you know, holes from worms and such. In fact, my husband bit into one the other day and there was a worm in it. So that was super fun for him, a little more protein. <laughs> um, and it actually was one of the apples that looked really good. So it didn't look like it had any spots. So he was a little disappointed on that. But, so I'm just going through and kind of cleaning them up. If there's just bruising spots, I'm not too worried about it. It's the spots where the actual bugs are. And so there's a few of them. And so I'm just literally taking my knife and just cutting those pieces out. Because the apple itself is still good, but I don't want to preserve um, buds, right? We don't want to eat them. So I'm just checking them out, making sure they look good and popping the cores out. Okay, and like I said, if you don't have a peeler or a core like I have, that's just fine. 
no big deal. Just use your regular kitchen peeler, peel the outside of them, and then um, slice them up and core them so that you have um, some nice apple pieces. Okay, now you can see I just have a tray here. I'm just leaving all my apples on the tray, and yes, they are browning. That is okay because I'm going to be juicing these apples. All right, my apples are over here. They're all sliced and ready to go. And I already added water to my base of my juicer and it's boiling nice and hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my apples into that colander on the top. And I'm just putting the whole thing in here. And what will happen is as the steam starts cooking the apples, the juice from the apples will start to um, come out and they'll drip down into the holding pot. So here's the colander on top and they'll start dripping. second tray on top of this one so that I just have one batch of juice so we'll just keep cooking it down until we get to the point that the apples are pretty mushy and basically applesauce and at that point then we can start adding juice to our jars these apples are cooking um, I'm going to get my water bath canner on the stovetop ready to heat um, because as soon as this juice is done I'm gonna put it in my hot jars put my lids on and put it in the water bath canner for 10 minutes and if you've ever water baths you know it's a lot of water and it takes a while to boil so I filled my pot up here I'm just gonna put it on my stovetop Get my little tray in there and add my lid. So my water bath canner will now be heating up. So as soon as my juice has cooked down or my apples have cooked down and my juice is ready, I can throw them right into my water bath. Um, the other nice thing about this is while this water bath is cooking my juice, then I can start working on my applesauce. And we'll do a separate video for the applesauce, so you'll know how to use the remains of your pulp for your apples into applesauce. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of juice down in the bottom, so I'm going to take this off. I don't know if you can see it, 
but the apples like slowly start to deflate. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna do a little cheat method here. I'm gonna take a plate and actually use it to squish down my apples a little bit. And then that'll help release a little bit more of the juice. And then you can take a fork, kind of move through it. You can see that it's pretty mushy, which is good. That's what we want. We want to get as much juice out of it as we can. And again, take my plate, kind of smash in there. It's a real scientific method. Smells so good. In fact, my husband came in from outside and was like, oh, I love the smell of that. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got for juice so far. Now, normally you wouldn't necessarily take this off. But you can see in there, got some juice, which is super exciting. It's not a ton and that's all right. We weren't looking for a ton. We just were wanting to use these apples for something more than just eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook these just a little bit longer. See if I can't smush out a little bit of juice. And then we'll go ahead and show you how we get the juice out. I think we're to the point that we have as much juice as we're going to get out of these apples. So because ours is so high, um, I found that if I use a chair with a stock pot on it, and then uh, put the jar on it, it keeps the mess down a little bit. And then the jar is going to get really hot from this juice, and I don't want to burn myself. So I just put this right in there, and then I unclasp my clamp here and then I fill it up to almost the top right about there so you can see that here and then I'm going to take my jar lid and my ring and I'm going to take a new jar so I'm going to make sure all the juice comes out put it in this new jar and switch spots and that just helps me to keep from making a huge mess, which is inevitable when you're working with juice. But there's my jar of apple juice. Isn't that beautiful? Now it's ready to actually go right into the water bath canner. So, I'm gonna, so now I'm just gonna put my jar right in to my water bath canner. And I'm gonna work on my second jar. Just letting gravity kind of do the work. Now it will get to a point that I will need to tip the pot so I can get enough juice out. But right now it seems to still be doing pretty good so I'm just going to let it go. It's slowed down, but it's still steady. So close. That's good. Put my other lid on. I'm going to keep doing this until I get all my jars filled. So I just took the apple juice out of the water bath canner. Look how great that looks. Doesn't it look delicious? It's really hot. Um, I'm just going to sit on my counter here now. 